Hey everyone, this is Troy from TroyPoint.com and this video complements the Fire TV exploit hack tutorial I put out last week. The developers Pro, Me, 3, Us, and Sween Wolf have been busy pushing out updates for their applications and I want to show you how to update and use the new features. Now, if you haven't already followed my previous video, you will want to do that prior to this one or you will be lost but it might be a good idea to first watch this video if you haven't done this yet because there are some updates to the applications that you will use and I will explain how those updates work in this video. And by the way, as of today, September 25th, 2025, Amazon still hasn't patched this exploit. So if you are going to do this, you better do it now or you will miss out. Now the link for my Fire TV exploit hack tutorial that I put out last week is linked in the video notes below. Now before I get started, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, be sure to do that so you will see updates like this in the future. We will continually provide updates regarding this Fire TV exploit hack. So if you follow my video, more than likely you're using a third party launcher. And you will see here we are using Project Ivy. I am currently on my third generation Fire TV Cube. And we have Launcher Manager installed. Okay, what I suggest doing is going up into the gear icon, go into Android Settings, go into Applications, Manage Installed Applications, and then go down highlight launcher manager and take a look at the version you are currently using. For me, I am still on 1.0.4 and this is how you can check what version you're using because we will be adding all the new updates to the Troy Point toolbox in the future and you can quickly come in here and see if you are currently up to date. I know that I'm not because as of this video it's already up to 1.0.8. They have provided some updates in the app. I definitely want the latest and greatest, and I'm gonna show you how you can get that. So I'm gonna go back to my home screen. I'm gonna launch Downloader. Again, we went through all the setup process in the previous video that I am linking to below. I'm gonna type in 250931 for the Troy Point Toolbox. Now on my Fire TV Cube, I haven't marked this as a favorite yet, so I definitely want to do that. I'm going to hold down on the OK button of my remote, add current page to favorites, save. It's now in the favorites section and downloader. In the future, I don't have to wait for that five second load screen with the ads. OK, I'm going to scroll down and you're going to see here we are now up to version 1.0.8. Now to first explain these two download options, you can use this first one. If for some reason that doesn't work, use the download mirror. So to apply the update, I'm just gonna hit download. And you're gonna see, do you want to install an update to this application? It recognizes we have a previous version. I'm gonna hit install. Now on some devices, you may have a problem reading this. Some of these install screens, it's grayed out, so it's hard to read, but it is basically telling you you're going to update the application. Install. I'm going to hit done. Delete the installation file. And now I just want to explain this Fire TV toolbox. Now some of you used your Android phone or tablet in the previous video to push the ADB command over to your Fire TV, which is needed to get all this to work. And if you did that, you used the original version of Fire TV Toolbox, but they have come out with an update since that original tutorial. Now they've come out with a new version called LM Toolbox. It's just an update to this one. And the main difference is now you don't even have to input an IP address. What this new version will do after you install it on your Android phone or tablet is it will scan your local network for the Fire TV devices that you have within your home. And then you can simply pick the Fire TV device that you're working on, hit the Setup Launcher button, and it'll send the ADB command over to that device. Awesome update on the part of these two developers. 
And the next thing we have here is a brand new app called LM Settings. This corresponds with the Launcher Manager app. So since I don't have this on my device yet, I'm gonna hit download. And again, this might be updated in the future too. And you can see what version you're running based off the instructions I showed earlier. Just go into the LM Settings app and see what version you're running. We're gonna go ahead and install, done, delete, and delete. Okay, I've got everything. Now I'm gonna hit the home button on my remote. Now you may notice when you update the application, you might have to set the default settings again. On this device, I'm not being asked to set the default launcher again when I hit the home button on my remote, but if you do see that prompt, you're gonna to want to choose whichever third-party launcher you're using. In my case, I'm using Project Ivy. And then you're going to choose, always use this as your default launcher. Now, something else you may need to do is go into settings, Android settings. I had to click it two times. And now you're going to see here, rather than having launcher manager, be default for our Amazon settings, it's now prompting us to use LM settings instead. And that's what you want to do. So I'm going to choose LM settings always. And it's going to open this screen now when we go into gear icon, Project IV launcher menu. Android settings takes us here. So we have access to all of our settings. Now, speaking of settings, I do want to show you this new application here, LM settings. But before you go in there, you need to do one important thing. You need to go into your updated launcher manager app, move down. You're going to see here at the bottom, it says set up LM settings. If you don't do this, you're going to be prompted to input that ADB command again when using some features within that application. Very, very important you don't miss this step. Okay, back to the home screen. Now we can go into LM settings and you're gonna see here, we have all kinds of different shortcuts to get to the various settings within your Fire TV. We have direct shortcuts to all of these frequently used settings or features that you would normally access. And in here you can get to your screensaver settings, developer options as well. But keep in mind, going back to the home screen, up to the gear icon, Android settings, you can still get to this screen as well. Okay, and then to show you the one big new feature that they have added to Launcher Manager, it's this right here, Live TV Control. Now, if you look on your remote, you may have a shortcut. It looks like a TV with antennas on it. This is your Live TV shortcut. And you can now remap that to your favorite live TV application or any application for that matter. It doesn't have to be a live TV app. It can be anything. For me, I'm going to map it to my favorite live TV IPTV application, which is TV Mate. Obviously, you first have to have the application installed on your device. So what I'm going to do is click live TV app. I'm gonna move down. Choose TV Mate, and you'll see here, I then need to change this from inactive live TV control to active. Now I'm gonna press the button on my remote with the TV and antennas on top of it. When you first do this, you need to tell it how you want to open it, and you'll see here you wanna choose LM, the live TV option, move down, hit always, 
and now it's going to launch TV Mate. And I haven't set up TV Mate on this device yet, and that's why it's not showing my live TV channels yet. It's just launching the application. Home button, press it again, and it immediately opens TV Mate, which I set earlier. And like I mentioned earlier, guys, I will be keeping the toolbox updated with all the updates that these two great developers push out. Again, a huge thanks to Pro-Me3Us and Sweenwolf for developing these awesome applications and the exploit hack. I'm simply the guy making the tutorials for this. They're the ones that all credit goes to. They're the ones who have developed this hack. As I mentioned earlier, guys, link for the original tutorial below. And a quick note about that. Many of you are having problems getting this up and running. And the number one reason is due to the fact that you're not taking your time and watching the entire video. The video is approximately 27 minutes long, yet the average watch time on that video is six minutes. We have hundreds of questions in the comments. And the main reason for that is because people aren't watching the entire video. Troy Point tip, while you're watching the video, click the pause button on the video player between each step so you can keep up and you don't miss any important details when going through it. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Also subscribe to this channel for many more tutorials like this in the future. As always, have an awesome day and thanks for following Troy Point.